if you can share it. Oh, I can but share we'll it. That. So we are doing a seven part series on setting up for sanity in the silly season. Because we are hearing of a lot of mothers who are not finding this supposed to be joyous, connecting, beautiful, celebratory time fun. And <laughs> are actually finding it stressful. And we've even heard mothers say that they feel like they're failing at Christmas. I can't share. Into oh. our group. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> do you want me to have a look while you talk? Yeah, if you want. Sorry. Okay. Technical glitch. We <laughs> promised we promised our community that we would um, share this with them. So <laughs> but we can't. So Kay was saying seven part series. We have been seeing and talking to mothers in the last couple of weeks um, who are struggling over the Christmas season. Um, so far as to say one mother was saying how she feels like she's failing Christmas. And I was like, ah, it's not okay to be thinking that. No mother is failing Christmas. Not a single mother is failing Christmas. And so this seven part series, they're going to be short because we realise everyone's down to sound bites at this time of the year, um, is to support you over the next couple of weeks. We're just doing it over the next three days. We're going to cram all the lives in. We want to support you all into creating something that has meaning for you, that is spacious, that is congruent with those um, visions that you hold in your mind of how you want the holiday season to look. All of that is coming. Yes, it's shit. So yeah, in fact, you can see all the topics in the description. It's already read away. Part of this is a little competition that we've got going. If you watch our live, and, if you, and hello to everyone coming, well, say hello because we really want to engage with you guys over the next couple of lives. Um, if you come and listen to the live and you comment because it's very interactive, then you go into the draw to win one of our digital packs of the Magical Mama Manifesting System. That's a mouthful for me to say. <laughs> but it includes all sorts of goodies that you can read about in the description. And every live that you comment on, you go into the drawer. And we'll draw it on the last one. And it's about really continuing this setup for sanity into the whole new year, into the whole of 2018. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my dog is wanting a cup. <laughs> so this first live we are bringing it right back to the basics, to the foundation, because that is where the power lies. So no matter what your plans are for this holiday season, no matter whether you have elaborate Christmas plans or you're um, seeing lots of extended family or you just want to have simple, simple connection times with your family, or even, even if you're not really doing anything, you're just kind of um, taking a break from regular everyday stuff. It, what you do, no, no matter what your plans are, what you do doesn't actually matter so much as who you be and the energy and the intention that you bring to that. So you, you could have the most, the most, huge expectations the most elaborate plans <laughs> as we often do and if you're not if you're not coming back to your intentions your core desires and your your values for like what meaning these holidays really is for you you lose all of that it, it's pretty guaranteed that you're that you're going to be let down like you know, you're going to you're going to find the holiday season crappy and stressful and you're going to feel like you're not doing it well enough, like you also, failing at Christmas thing. Yeah, yeah. And you also don't have the anchors in place that you need to keep coming back to. So today's life, we're going to support you to get those couple of anchors going so that even in the craziness, you've got just a couple key things that are really, what's really important to you. And not only does it shape how you plan, but it also shapes every moment. It shapes the Christmas Day craziness. It shapes Christmas shopping. It, it shapes everything. And that's why it's so important to have your foundation in place. I'm going to give you three things. Intentions and values is kind of sort of the same. So maybe only two. <laughs> so the first piece is there's often a wide gap between what in your heart you want this holiday season to be for you and what it looks like in reality. So 
when I, I was speaking to a mum today, actually, we were talking about this and how big that gap sometimes is. And she was like, yeah, I just want to hang out with my family, have some space. I don't have to go to work. I want to engage with the people that I love and have lots of rest and rejuvenation. Like, that's the holiday. And then I said, how's that going? And she said, no. Nah. <laughs> She's like, I haven't started my Christmas shopping yet and I don't know what I'm cooking. And, like, and blah, 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 blah. And that's a really common common thing that comes up so if that is you these anchors are going to support you what is your intention for this holiday season is it about rest and rejuvenation is it about playfulness and fun is it about connection is it about it could be about anything it's personal to you what is it and that's kind of another way of looking at intention is the theme like what is the the theme that you're wanting to thread through this season mm. Because if, if, if you tune in and you realise that your theme really is about rest and relaxation and then you look at the plans in your calendar and it so doesn't match, then, then you've got a really big disconnect right from the beginning. To really you're setting on. yourself up for a bit of a crappy time. So that's one thing you could comment about if you want to go into the draw for the prize. What is your intention? What would you love for your intention to be? Number two, your next second anchor. What value, what personal value are you holding as a mother that you want to pass on to your children that's really relevant at this time of the year? And another way to look at that is what makes Christmas or New Year or the solstice or the holidays meaningful to you? Like what makes, what gives it meaning? What makes it sacred? And how are you wanting to share that with your children? Mm. It's sort of a legacy piece here on passing on. But if you were to model a value, if you were to encourage your children to enact a value, to play with a value over this next few weeks, what would it be? Hi, Hi Jen. Jen. Hi, Jen. <laughs> so there's that intention and then there's value. And the third one is what do you want to feel? over this holiday season. It's tied to intention, it's not exactly the same. And um, if any of you watching this, a lot of you will be familiar with Danielle Laporte's work on her core desired feelings. It's similar to that. What is the core desired feeling you wanna be feeling on Christmas Day? You wanna be feeling when you Christmas shop. You wanna be feeling over the next two weeks. You wanna be feeling when you wake up on New Year's morning. Yeah, or solstice next week, yeah? What are the core feelings that you most desire to feel? Okay, that's another thing you could comment on, by the way. If you want to go into the door, any of these you can comment on, yeah? So you've now got an intention, a core desired feeling, and a value. They're just three key words. If you want to take it to four, add how you would most love your family to feel over this period so your whole family your family dynamic the energy in your home the energy between you all yeah because that's often another big one we're going to talk about that in the series because that's actually a big one that mm. often comes up for mothers too those four words can be your mantra and they can guide every single decision making process you have for the holiday period. We are gonna talk about, over the next few lives, hey, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Um, over the next few lives, we'll be talking about a variety of different topics. Where are our topics? Yes, where are our topics? They're in our description. <laughs> um, we'll look at our description. Yeah, well I can't look at our description because it won't scroll, sorry. But we're gonna talk about how to create that balance and spaciousness, how to adjust the energy in your home. We're gonna talk about that next slide, which is a really important topic because setting the tone and holding the energetic vibe or feel in your home is often something that the mother is doing. And if you're running around crazy out of control, that's the frequency you're holding in your family. <laughs> so we're gonna help you shift that too so that that starts to ripple out differently. Yeah, we're also gonna talk about the power of saying no. Ooh, how the many of us have of saying no? Yeah, how many of us have trouble saying no when we <laughs> and filling up our calendars with the most ridiculous amount of stuff that we actually really don't want to go to. We wanna talk about this over the whole season. How do you yeah. say no? 
in a loving, conscious way that can be received without you going, oh, God. And how do you that? actually, oh, even before that, how do you claim your no as a positive and empowering and beneficial thing for everyone that actually creates more connection, creates more authenticity and more honesty? Because it's, it's such a big cultural lie that we've brought into that, that it's not okay to say no. Yeah. So that's about really claiming your power to say no. It's kind of related to your keywords today, really. Think about those keywords that came up today. How are you making your choices? Are the decisions that you are making over the next couple of weeks in particular supporting those keywords, supporting that intention or that value or that desired feeling? Or are they weakening it? Are they draining you? Mm. And that's actually something we're going to be dedicating our life to as well is really looking at all of that stuff that you um, have committed to over the holiday season and looking at what what is really um, helpful and in alignment with your core intentions, your values and your desires and what really energises you and your family and what doesn't and That's how draining. to say no to the ones that yeah, that don't. So it's another topic. Another topic that we're doing a short live on will be around anxiety and expectations when it comes to extended family. Um, and so for most, even families parenting really in quite the mainstream, it can be a hotbed. But if you're parenting outside of the way your family of origin parents, um, then Going to the family for Christmas Day can just be such an anxiety-inducing <laughs> experience about I'm going to be grilled about all my parenting choices and everything. So we're going to talk about that on the live too and how you can show up in a way that supports you, that supports your children, that has you feeling empowered and that allows you to just stay in your own alignment but still, you know, like not starting all that war on Christmas Day <laughs> to keep the peace as well. And we're going to do a couple on creating really meaningful, it doesn't have to be elaborate, it can be if you want, but mm. really meaningful family rituals or family celebration. Maybe just family experiences. Yes, in this season, because this season is all about like ritual and celebration, but you might as well make some that actually have genuine, true meaning. For you and your family. So about again, align to the key words. Yes. Align to the key words. That's really important. So if you're there on those ones, you'll actually have yeah created your ritual, and and you'll be equipped to to share it with your family. And it can be anything. Like you, when you see them, you'll see what we mean. They can be things that you can do any time. But we want to sort of get across the idea of how do you construct something that has meaning for you and your family, that has adds richness, that strengthens the container of your family, which is usually why you do these sorts of celebrations and rituals, and also how you, um, how you craft an experience and then release it or surrender it so that you can really experience it without without holding it so tightly that when you're when it doesn't go exactly how you vision it, it doesn't all fall over. You know, there's that meme going on at the moment about this vision on decorating the Christmas tree together oh, yeah. and then it's all crap and the mother's just drinking. <laughs> it's like, um, how do you not get into that? How do you manage to craft something but then release it so that the whole family and still hold it, still have the meaning and the beauty in it, even if it doesn't go down exactly how you hope? Sorry, I can't see the comments. We can't Since see we tried to find the, the words, where, so hopefully we're not missing comments. But that's it for yeah, today. Yeah, we just want to also invite you, if you want to go a lot deeper, if you want to really get um, personal with this and if you want support to, like, personally map out your holiday season and beyond and you stepping into your power, your divine power as a mother and a woman, Lisa and I are opening up spaces for conversations at the moment. We put spaces in our calendar over the holiday season as well and then a lot more in January. in January. So if you'd like to take us up on that, there's a link in the description and we'd be honoured to share that with you. So that's it for today. Really think about one intention, one value, one core desired feeling 
you want to extend it, a one thing that you most want your family to feel, that family vibe, and anchor them. Write them on a piece of paper. Take them everywhere with you. They should be the things that are guiding your choices and your decisions over the next couple of weeks to make sure that there's actually alignment and congruency between what's in your heart and what's in your calendar. Okay. See you Bye. next time.